So I find myself in this weird hotel room, okay? It's like, it was, it was like a rented out room in this big weird banquet center. And there was a guy sitting at the front teaching this whole class. And I was invited by a cousin of mine. And this guy's teaching the whole class about the trades that he made last week through Forex. He's making all this money. This guy was talking like he made a million dollars in the past month. And we're all kind of stunned like, whoa, this guy has the secret keys. His trading technique, you literally can't fail. It's like an 85% success rate. So he somehow convinces us to join this pyramid scheme. Okay, sorry. No, no, it's called a MLM, multi-level marketing. That's what it's called. It's not a pyramid. No, no, no. For, forgive me. Multi-level marketing, which basically somehow looks just, just like a pyramid. Somehow it's kind of a coincidence. I don't want to get sued, as you can tell. The company name was IML, iMarkets Live. They since then changed the name of their company. God knows why. Maybe because they were getting bashed online so hard. And I got influenced by my cousin to join this pyramid scheme. It costed 300 bucks per month, but I was rest assured, don't worry, bro. You're going to make so much money after your first month of trading using our techniques, our golden cup technology, whatever what they even called it. We're literally catching so many pips, bro. Pips are like the, the percentage moved uh, in like a forex trade or something like that. I'm not even too sure myself. So I was freaking influenced entirely. My 17-year-old self still washing dishes every single night for five, six hours a night as a dishwasher. That was my first job. Uh, I was making like about 10 to 12 bucks an hour. If my boss felt nice, he would maybe toss me a 15 per the hour and I was going nuts for it. So think about it. That's 30 hours of work, of washing dishes, back-breaking, grunt, hard-ass work to pay for this course. And I thought I was going to make it back, no problem. Bro, anything to get me out of that kitchen, I was down for. So I signed up like a donkey. And when I did sign up, they start telling me like, okay, so what you should start looking forward to doing now is trying to get your two and free. I'm like, what's a two and free? They're like, okay, basically, so like if you have to work on getting your, your two legs under you, basically two trusted friends that you know really, really well to sign up under you and they can sign up. And once they sign up, you actually get a free membership. I'm like, oh, that sounds amazing. So that basically is how a pyramid scheme starts, right? Like this looks like a pyramid and then it keeps on growing and it continues just to be a bigger and bigger pyramid. I didn't realize it at the point. I didn't really zoom out and see the big picture that I was falling into this scheme. But unfortunately I did. And I, the only problem is, is that all my friends were, were broke just like me. No one really had money to just dish out 300 bucks a month like that. We're all still high schooler kids. And I think it was junior or senior year at this point. So uh, they gave me techniques to get people to sign up under me. And this was the scummiest shit ever, bro. They literally told me... <clears throat> While you're sitting in class or at the library or at a coffee shop, have your laptop or your phone out sitting next to you and have, have a open trade, like an open market trade where you see how there's like, there's like a market chart where there's green and red candles going up and down and it looks like you're this amazing Forex trading stock market analysis guy. So they basically said to go up to any market and just have it open next to you. Not even looking at it or reading it, just have it open next to you so that somebody else can walk by and say, hey, what's that? Are you trading some stocks or something? It, it, it's a pretty... It's a pretty, you know, interesting thing to see, right? So when someone asks you, then you start the conversation and initiate them into IML under you so that you can get your free $300 per month. I'm like, oh, that sounds amazing. So like an idiot, I tried this in class and it worked the very same day. I had my phone out in class. I acted like I was just taking little peeks at it. Like I'm looking at a uh, US dollar to gold and I'm trying to see the, the conversion rate and all that bullshit. And some, some kid looks at me from behind me. He's like, hey, yo, what's that on your phone? I was like, oh yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trading Forex, bro. I'm making so much money. I didn't make a freaking dollar. Like they kind of encourage you to lie a little bit, just a little bit. And so I somehow get him on a call with, with my higher up of the pyramid. And then he basically says like, yeah, it's too much money. I'm not really too dumb. So he leaves the call and we keep on pestering him and bugging him. Please sign up, please sign up. We're going to make all this money back. Don't worry. And what I realized was that he's like, look, if I can guarantee that I have two guys under me for free, then I'll sign up. But if it's not that, then I just won't do it. Because like, he's like, yo, look, honestly, I'm working at a gas station too right now. We're all grinding. It's not that easy to come by 300 bucks. This is actually pre-stimulus check, pre-COVID. So um, pre-inflation too. So I see him actually the next day in class. And this really, really caught me off guard. In class, you know, some, some poor kid sitting next to him. He tries to sell him on this IML thing, right? And he's like, yo, you should check out Alex's mentor, bro. He's trading Forex, making so much money. His mentor has a slime green Hellcat, made 45 Gs this last week, and he has a big ass house in, in uh, Texas. You should go check it out. And I'm like, and I kind of, I sat, I, I just watched back and realized, bro, this guy is literally lying on my behalf for me so that he can sign up under me. That was like, and that, that really, once I saw this from the big picture, is that really what I'm being told to do here? 
to go and sell this fake idea, this fake image that we're all making thousands of dollars to sign up for that financial freedom. And the thing is, it's so weird because once you enter their actual site, you have like basically different classes or courses or sections, right? You have one that teaches you actually how to trade Forex. Um, didn't really learn too much there. The next one teaches you how to make people sign up under you and become like a cheesy car salesman, like a snake oil salesman, basically. And the next one was like a motivational course saying you can achieve financial freedom if you want. And there are all these pumped up people that literally, it looked like they were on cocaine. They're screaming like, you can achieve this law of attraction, whatever you want in life. You want a million dollars, go and get it today. And like all this crazy stuff, right? And um, it was really, really strange. Very, very cult-like. These guys really had no credentials behind them besides they just are really high up. They have a lot of referrals and now they're somehow a teacher, a mentor, or a course uh, creator. It made no sense. Um, so I started getting a bad feeling about this. And by that time, it's been a month and boom, my card gets charged again, another 300 bucks. I'm like, bro, $600? I cannot afford that. That's how much money I made the whole month in general. So I, I looked back and I was like, yo, look, honestly, I told the higher up, I'm like, look, bro, I can't afford it. I tried to get you guys to sign up under me. Um, and he basically was like, you know, dude, you're really going to like miss out. And he was very, very like weird and cheesy. It didn't make me feel good about leaving. But eventually I canceled my card and I left. I never heard from him again because I was not a, a profit to his pocket. Right. Um, and then going forward, you know, I, I leave this scene. Uh, whoever I was telling to sign up, I called them back. I was like, yo, look, thank God you guys didn't sign up because I'm realizing it's a pyramid scheme. Let's just not do this anymore. Like, thank you. A year goes by. Okay. Now in my high school, Nobody knew about this, this IML or Forex trading. Nobody was trading nothing at this time, right? We're all 18 years old, about to graduate. Now, like a month before graduation happens, I see on my friend's Instagram story, he's like, yo, tap in, just made this much money per month trading Forex. He shows like, like a, you know, a screenshot of like his previous trade session, obviously fake or like a, like a private, you know, like fake stock. That's not his real money. He, he posted it on his Instagram story, say, yo, tap in, I'm making crazy money, all this stuff, right? Like, that's kind of weird. This looks just like what I was kind of doing like, like last year. And then uh, like a couple of days later, two other guys are posting on their story. And like, I'm telling you, these guys don't know. Like, they don't know their head from their ass crack. These guys are like level one brain. I'm sorry, low, super, super low IQ, right? I mean, we, we, no, you didn't make a thousand dollars on a freaking trade. No, this, this is, this is bullshit. And then the very next day, at least like 15 kids, almost every single guy on the football team, every guy, every jock in my high school is posting, yo, making crazy money, uh, swipe up, I'll make, teach you how to make this much money, and one day I'm making so much money now trading Forex. I'm like, you guys don't know shit about nothing. N not even trading Forex or stocks, you guys literally can't even formulate an English sentence. So, uh, sorry, it was kind of rough, but damn, these guys are like, real. So uh, I, I, I realized, and I called my friend, like, bro, these guys are all falling for it. One kid in my high school sold one kid on it, and they're pretty popular kids, you know, like the, they're pretty popular kids in that in, in my grade, and they really got the whole grade following them. Within a week, literally almost every single male with a penis in my high school was posting, tap in, locked in, making money, bread, cheese emoji. It was so weird, right? And then it really died down after like the month, the first month, they all realized, okay, shit, this is not working. No, nobody's signing up. I'm just paying somebody 300 bucks. They all quit eventually. And it was a very, very short-lived high. The people that were somehow in it with all these like referrals under them were not really making that much money. So um, I eventually left the pyramid scheme. I lost $600. I traded money too. I put like 300 bucks or 350 into the trading account, lost that as well. It was somehow close to a thousand dollars. I'm like, look, I'll take this L that was one G I'll take this L, put it to the side and never do that ever again. So learn from me. Whenever you see anything that's remotely sketchy, like this saying, yo, sign up and they're pushing. If somebody wants you to sign up so bad and they're really, really being salesmen for it, and the product basically isn't selling itself, then don't buy the product, okay? It just means that this person's a really, really good artist in getting you, uh, using their emotional tactics to get you to purchase this item. Uh, so a, lot, a lot of car salesmen actually do this themselves too. They'll walk up to you and be like, so were you thinking leather interior or cotton interior? And you're like, bro, I wasn't even going to buy the car. Thank you all for watching this video. Stay dreaming, stay lucid. I'm out. Peace.